Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it is lovely to have you here. So we are going to get on straight away with what we're doing because, um, yeah, my, my phone's not, not charged up very much and I thought it was on charge so I want to do some um, embellishing in this in this journal so, um, yeah, I shouldn't sit too long anyway so not having a lot of phone um, charge <laughs> power might might be good for me so um i don't know if you can see what i've got dotted around on my desk i've got a few page edge decorations here that i thought we might want to use i've got florals butterflies a few words a few stickers and then i've got all the pieces from um the botanicals kit and the architecture kit um you know all the the pretty bits and pieces so um i've also brought a couple of stamps um you know clean stamping stamps i've got a little bouquet of flowers which i love um uh, sort of a, a florally botanical probably um pretty and a dragonfly because i've got lots of butterflies but i've got any dragonflies i'm going to take that off because it's not doing any good really is it it's um healed it's just um i keep catching it and it's sore so <laughs> that's that's what i was hoping for with that so i hope you're all well and um yeah excited about um, embellishing this because I am um because I'd love to get on and and get the cover uh, finished so so I might do a couple of passes through I know I still I've got three of these in because I still want something for here um but it was only yesterday and and I went and rested my my legs straight after I haven't done anything else so um yeah I'm going to start with the embellishing and I will I'll probably do those last um do I want anything on here anywhere we've got the field notes can you see and um, maybe something on here maybe um, a label I do like a label on my uh, first page yeah nothing too big I don't think no not that one that one's got the green edge too big so let's, let's just trim this one down and see um, yeah just so that it's such a pretty page and of course if it was mine i would write around <laughs> around those flowers um on that page but i know lots of people don't like to so you could just get you know a word or something so do i want to go there or do i want to go there i want to ink it because i've not, not cut it all that well not too much but just taking a little bit more of the green off the bottom than, than I liked. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do it there over that stalk. I can't take too long over these decisions. or um, <laughs> It will take me four weeks to embellish it. As soon as it's a four, four signature book, we don't want it to take that long, do we? I'm also wondering if I would like a butterfly on this page. And it's the first page that we're... I've just got a few out on my desk, but I've got the big box of uh, drawer of butterflies in front of me. Um, I mean the blue pops because there aren't, there isn't any blue anywhere, is there on there? So let's let's go with a contrast rather than a you know a similar tone. Let's go with something that stands out. Oops, as butterflies often do in their beauty. So it doesn't matter what colour. The butterfly is it doesn't go to just flowers of its own color does it? it goes to any that look like they might have a nice sugary drink in them okay now do i want anything on these i'm wondering if that might be nice with a little either a little um specimen type label which i think i might have in here just bear with me a minute yeah, a plain one's not. That was a plain one I came across. Um, if not, I've got the Tracy Fox labels there. No, I just wondered if I wanted a pop of bloom opposite that one. No, they're not in that one. It might be in the other drawer. Let's let's leave them out because I'm going to be I'm going to be looking through them a lot. This is what I was thinking. Look at these little little ones here. What have we got? Nope, smaller than that. Just one of these little tiny ones from there with lots of numbers on that I like. Oops, going back in. Yeah, so I've got a tiny line to write something. I'm not going to ink that, it's so tiny. 
and then lots of little numbers just to give that a bit of ties it into the book a little bit as well doesn't it and i'm wondering if just to tie this piece in um one of these right, there was some some that didn't have a picture on that had the like the text like that no i'm thinking i might like one with a picture on <laughs> so my idea was half right um maybe going over it onto that that's quite nice no i don't know if i can cut it a little bit wavy it's one of those faux stamps oops let me just you probably can't see but i don't want don't want the tiny thin bit to go in the um spine of the book so so yeah this is definitely going to be more than a, a one a one film job it'll be a two a two video and uh, probably quite a bit off camera as well so yeah that's it i like that and i don't want to ink it what's behind it is inked so that again will make it pop out And it is bringing a bit of that blue butterfly over because that's got a blue cornflower type. That's better. Without putting too much on it, it's brought the whole page in. Now, I might end up with something on there, I think. But I'll see if I want to put a tab on it first. So I'll keep that in mind. Um, now, I'm saying when that comes out, that's a nice journal page, aren't I? Um, should we just do a stamp on there? Let's, let's look, just put a little tiny... Um, I think I'm going to go for this pink saltwater taffy and just put a tiny little piece of interest. Do I want it hidden? It goes that way, doesn't it? Yeah, let's have it hidden so that it just pops out when... That's nice because that's tied that colour in. Um, it's on the back there a little bit as well. Okay, so you don't know it, but it's embellished. Um, I think what I'll do with these pages, I'll leave them all to the end and then decide which ones I'm going to come back and put labels on. Oh, this one needs something. Right, do you think he needs a page edge? I like this one with this kind of mirroring. Mirror, mirroring. <laughs> It's in an R mirror, doesn't it? Mirroring. And it'll just give that page a little bit, a bit more strength. It's got the lace on the back, so that kind of ties in with the brown grungy paper behind it yes I like that like I say I'll do those last um right this one wants something on it this one maybe just a label don't think I want a flower oops um Hmm, what do I want on it? Let's have a look what we've got here then. Maybe one of those um, scroll type things. Yeah. Just to fancy the page up but without putting any more florals on it. Oh, that's nice. They go really lovely on the, um, the coffee dyed paper, these scrolls. Um, the coffee dyed paper that's got the... Uh, the imprint, the, the fancy, um, what is it? It's a tablecloth, <laughs> fancy tablecloth imprint on it. Yeah, I wanted it off centre. I wanted it in that middle to kind of counterbalance this on this side. Yeah, it can be coloured in, doodled round, journaled under. Yeah, journal all of it and then put this in. So I would quite like something on here and I'm thinking maybe 
well either a word or a label i don't know if i've sorry i keep lifting that up because i can't see past it um not got that many words that i particularly want that's quite nice i quite like the plainness of that let's go with it <laughs> i'm using everything in this first one to say we've decorated it somehow. I might put some lace down, it hasn't decided. Okay, I have to put something in there, just in case. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, we've got that knot under it though, so it might be difficult to write. I might have to do a, a writing board to go in here. Um, what we'd have to do is undo the knots on these, I think, the bows. Let's try it. Where was I? Yeah, that's much better for writing on. Um, it still probably could do with a writing board, but yeah, we just have to undo the the bows behind the page you're writing on. Okay, and um, where was I? So, um, label, I think. Put that one back I did. I'm just fancying more of a roundy fancy shape. Oh, yeah, something like that. Nothing too doesn't really yeah. Too stand outy. But it is there should you wish to create a label that's on slightly different paper. You know, it's got a, a different look to it. There we go. Lovely. That one should be dry now, so we'll use it in there. Hope I'm staying in camera. Um, again, this one's for journaling when we remove that. So shall we just put a little stamp down here? Where is that? Where is that pin gone? I'm going to have trouble with it, aren't I? Here we go. <laughs> yeah, Tan Tanya kindly said to me she's going to send me a magnet um, to put in it when... When she next posts, posts something to me, that will be nice. Um, I'm thinking this. Now I do like to stamp it in, in teal, but I don't think teal is the colour that I want there. I think I want black, so um, keep that out of it. Let's do a black one. It might have a bit of teal under it. And um, yeah, it can be coloured in or, or whatever. Oh. <laughs> I didn't quite get it all. I didn't didn't press too hard in the ink, but it kind of goes with the rest of the page, doesn't it? It's just you know, just a bit of something, yet it can be written over. So I filled that, but it wants something on it, and I'm looking at. Oops, put those back on. I will lose them. Looking at the freezes, these. Is there a thin one? Not in those. Something else in the bottom of here though. I can get them out. Sorry if that's I move it. Flashing light at you. Come on, this way. <laughs> Fighting me all the way. The one I want still in the bottom, would you believe? Look. <laughs> Come on. Must be stuck. Oh, maybe a bigger one would. I was thinking that was a bit small, but let's see. Yeah, it's just the wrong colour, that one. Have I got a different colour? I have. Hmm. That's quite nice on there. Yeah, let me uh, ink the edge a bit. Take the lid off me ink and... Make sure I've got some ink on my dobber. Yeah, so I'll probably be lucky if I get the first um, signature done with you today, but no rush, is there? Oops. As long as I'm decorating every bit I get done. Don't want to rush it because I want to enjoy the pleasure of making it. 
and um, yeah, I don't want to rush you guys a lot out of you out there. Enjoy watching it being embellished, don't you? I'm wondering about one of those little pretties down here. So we've got tickets, or we've got um, we've got going on pinks and blues. Oh, come here. <laughs> A nice blue one there I've got my eye on. It's none of the pictures that are available, is it? Is it too much? Although I've got pink bow, so maybe I want a pink one after all. <laughs> Just wondering if two, but no, it won't fit. So it can only be one. Well, it won't fit in a straight line. It could be two. I think it might make a nice tuck, that. Let's just put this end on. This um, card. <laughs> Done the wrong end. So, um, yeah, card-ish. That will hold it down as well, won't it? I'm making out is I don't want to <laughs> stick the flap down. Maybe not that, but maybe something in there. Um, what then? I've got the freeze out everywhere now. I don't know. I'll have a little think. Something will come to me. Not sticky, are you? No. Nope. Hmm, that might be nice for journaling on as well. nice yep yeah I've probably only got enough stuff out on my desk for the for choices for um the first signature anyway but that all also helps you keep the signatures different if you don't have the same stuff out oh there's one that we managed to put something in um and I think there's enough going on I don't think it needs anything on the page um I was hoping to cut that, that I'd cut that out, wasn't I? Don't think that needs anything either, to be honest. That's got its own title. This one does. Right, this needs something. And the page needs something. Oops, sorry. That's quite nice on there, isn't it? And it's a sticker, so... Well, I think it is. Could be one of those. I never can... When I think it's a sticker, it's not. When I don't think it's a sticker, it is. So, well, it is. I was right this time. Yeah, just like the... So it's not really affecting the journaling at all. Because you can write on this as well as the page. Um, it's just giving it a little bit of pretty. Put back to this. <laughs> it's just I'm balancing the page out now with putting something on this. Um, maybe I, I didn't think I wanted the flowers because obviously they're all over the pages but there's no flower here so maybe I do did I not get them out I remember thinking I didn't want them they're here so there's something greenish oh, that, one. that one's calling me immediately I know it's got a lot of the cream behind it, but I don't mind it. I quite like it. It's it's sort of simple, isn't it? Just wondered if those berries would look nice in there. Hmm. I think I quite like that actually. I put it up high there and then a label down there because it looks a bit lost doesn't it oops so this is these are from the kit the uh, vintage botanical kit 
and it's got all that lovely uh, layering behind it because this is um what, what is this that i've put on this page it's uh yes tissue paper have i gone low enough with that yeah yes yeah so i kind of want a label down there i'm wondering if i want something up top not, not that big nothing smaller yeah that's it that's the one um see when it's out like that it doesn't need anything on the top I quite like the way it looks but when i put it in Looks like it needs something. I don't think it needs a tab. Maybe it does. Maybe it needs a bit of lace. I think I'll leave it and see. But I think I think lace might be the thing. Or oh, fabric or something. Yeah. Um, so that'll get caught in the second pass through. Um, again, just some lovely journaling. I wonder if I just put one of these on here. I do like these. These came from, I think these came from your creative studio. Oh, oh no, I've broken that one. Look, take it off more gently. Ruffy and, um, yeah, because then whoever's journaling in it could, you know, you could draw a text box or anything. Pretty. Do we want anything at the bottom? No, let's leave it. Let's leave a bit of space for journaling now so this this is added journaling space it's lovely paper on this page it's not necessarily the strongest paper this so um maybe stamp again oops shall i try that what's wrong with you you're drunk, stand up. Shall I try that one again? This one. I'm wondering if the teal would go with this. There's lots of different greens going on. Let's try it. I love this teal colour. Let's try it. I can always put something over it if, uh, you know, it all goes horribly wrong. I'm just feeling how flat, how flat a page I've got to work with. I want it to show. I don't know if that was straight, but it's on. That's better. See what I mean about that teal? It is, uh, it is teal, isn't it? Teal blue, it's called. You see, me and my colour palette, I would call that green. <laughs> so, yeah, green and blue is obviously an issue for me. Just give it a minute. Shouldn't take long to dry. Did I want more? Why did I not have one of those in there saying that I needed a tag in it? I don't know, but I didn't. <laughs> okay. This one needs something. Uh, I was going to blow on it, but I don't think that'll make any difference. Let's put a piece of that in. Oh, I'm suddenly hot again. What are we going to have on here? It's a lovely journaling spot. Maybe just a little bit of something up there. Um, no. no some was there some circles or was I dreaming it? There are some circles. That one look is just a little like um chandelier. Just depends if I can get my little machine to cut it because it's quite flimsy paper let's have a bit of scrap see if that'll help machine this is what i meant by machine <laughs> a bunch not much of a machine i suppose it is a machine isn't it a bit mechanical yeah that was much better punching it out of a a double fit oh of oh, course, double thickness. Do we like it? What's that upside down? <laughs> Let's have it the right way up. 
Oh, I can't tell. Must be that way, surely. No, I don't think it is. I think it's that way. Because the candles are stood upwards. <laughs> oh, dear. It's only part of the, you know, picture. Because it's a circle. Do we like it? Yeah, it just gives the, the page a, a little bit of something to catch your eye. Yeah, it's nice to know it's down flat. And it'd be nicer without that red behind it shouting, shouting at me. I didn't put a lot on. Oh, is that the first one done? Oh, we did quite well then. That is the first one done. Okay, so I, I've, I've got another 10 minutes or so, so let's carry on. Well, maybe not 10 minutes, but five minutes. Oh, completely blank page. How did I do that? That seems strange. Do you know that one that I've just put that red thing in? I've just remembered. I've got, I've got something. It was drying, wasn't it? Yes, is that it? Yes. <laughs> Is that out of there, do you think? Yeah, it is. I thought it was strange that I didn't uh, <laughs> I didn't have a, a, a thing in it saying I need I need something. Right. So I'm thinking page edge decoration again. What did I do with them? Yeah, so we've got we haven't got many little birds in it, have we? Excuse me. So we've got butterflies here. Um I've got kind of a pink background going on. Yeah, I don't like that one. So do we like that one? I'm not sure the colours are right. I'm thinking something like this. That's nice because it's kind of mirroring this. It, um... I'm just wondering tuck-wise. I want this for journaling on. I suppose I could just stick it top and bottom, it needs thinking. And then whoever gets the journal could decide. And I know I keep saying that and I do know, I think I know who's having it, but I always, when people reserve a journal, I always say, you know, when it's finished, then make your final decision because it, it helps me do whatever I want to do with the journal instead of trying to, you know, second guess what somebody would want. And then obviously, it's completely different sometimes by the end to how I start it. And then I'm, I'm kind of giving them a get out if suddenly I've not gone down the route they like. Does that make sense? So I've just done it top and bottom. Should somebody want to stick a paper? I mean, it won't take anything um, too heavy in it. I'm just seeing if I've got a paper somewhere like that. Hands up, who, who has a, a craft room and a craft desk and you can never find a piece of paper when you want one? You know, so you could just pop a, a piece of something, bigger, a smaller, whatever, in there. But it, it's, you know, it doesn't look like it's missing if you just want to journal. Yeah, like that, and that should stop that sticking because that's that's saying to me. Oh, some bloody's having a bit of a, a shout at each other out there by sounds of it. Right, what do I want on this one? Um, again, I just want a, a bit of fancy because it is for journaling on. Oh, that's nice. Mm. I love these ones. Is it lost? No, I don't think so. I have to answer myself. <laughs> It's um, subtle, isn't it? Would you say that was subtle? Yeah, I like it. A restful page. But still something pretty. Very pretty. Yeah, they're nice. I'm going to put a few of those through the book, I think. I really like them. Lovely. Okay, have we got a page in here that can come out? Yep. And, yep, 
yeah that's just a fold out um we'll have a look at it when we do the flip through that's got this in it because i need to back that um love all of these lovely pages shall we just do the same shall we just have it on the bottom yeah i think we might oops oh dear yes i've got a very messy desk because here comes the excuses yeah because my leg's been so poorly i've just been crafting and going and then when i come to craft again i just push everything to the side and work on whatever i want to work on and then go again and eventually i'll be completely better i thought i was getting better but um yeah had another another little setback so i'll get there <laughs> I'll just keep on keeping on, as they say. Yeah, I feel that needs something at the top now to balance it out. And I'm thinking sort of numberish. So what have we got that might interest me? So I don't want anything too in your face. Just a little bit of interest. I might not even want a number, but it's just a thought. I certainly don't want a really big one like that. Oh. They look interesting. Oops. Hmm. Oopsie daisy, what was that? Yeah, that would be nice, but it's there isn't a number, there isn't anything on there to call it the figure. Well, that's a, yeah, that's the one. Another drawer out. So it kind of doesn't exactly disappear, but it's subtle, isn't it? Like like the previous word I was looking for. <laughs> Come on. The glue's starting to glue up round the top of the nozzle um, just because I left the, the no nozzle off it for a couple of hours yesterday. I, I found it after a couple of hours, but I think I might need to give it a good clear out now. Yeah, it's quite... Um, What's the word? Distressed that page edge, isn't it, from the uh, the dyeing process? Yeah, I like that. Right, how am I doing? A couple more pages and then I don't want anything on that. That's another one of those that's not at the moment. Again, I might come back to it, but I like this one. This is another one where I'm going to have to undo that to press on it. That's it. Um, what do I want on here? Some nice teeny tiny ones of these. Oh, that's nice. Would it be nice? Oh no, it gets a bit lost on there. Oh, yeah, I like that. So plenty of journaling, just got a lovely little Piece of candy, piece of eye candy. That definitely is. I would consider that eye candy. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Love the mason jars, as you know. I've suddenly got a thing for them. So I'm thinking a label here. I mean, you could write on parts of this, couldn't you? And um, yeah, something that's going to stand out. So green, because we've got lots of brown. What kind of stands out? Let's just see if I want something big. Where were the big ones? <laughs> In the box. I'm not sure I do, I'm just too big. I'm just having a wonder. Mm -hmm. oh, they're quite nice, aren't they? We've got all sorts of different Let 
one's nice, it's a postcard, no, nope, I don't want a darker one, that's got like peeling paper, I like that, let's look at that then, yeah, it's just a bit more in your face than that one, um, I want the lozenge shape, so I'm going to do that, oops, I'll do it away from the book because, otherwise it'll end up in the, oops, not a very good shape, that, end up in the spine, Yeah, I like it kind of, whoops, kind of blends in to the page, but not quite. So it, yeah, it's good, good title box. Yeah, I would write in there, I would definitely write on that and maybe on there. Right, this will make this my last one then, so what am I going to put on this? Now, if I hadn't have used one over there, I'd have put one of those, um, these, on this. So what shall I put on it? Oh, I've got scrolls. There are always flowers for those who want to see them. Isn't that pretty on there? It just kind of, yeah... That was pretty easy. That's not what, what I was looking for. I was looking for something for the envelope, but yeah, we'll take we'll take the stuff that's given to us like that very much. Yep. So the journal owner could, um, you know, journal on paper and stick it on there, should they wish. What do we want on here then? Because that's what we were looking for. I've got a nice sort of, um, what's that called? A wreath or a ring of flowers. What do we think to that? It's very vibrant, this green. Um, this. Yeah, I'm not, I think it's a bit too subtle. Got a beautiful green butterfly here. Let's look at the other butterflies. Yeah, maybe, maybe too many greens going on. Oops. Mm, he's nice. Yeah, I'm just going to go with him and uh, keep it plain. Ish. <laughs> Couldn't really call it plain with all those lovely patterns going on, but it, yeah, plain-ish, calm maybe. Keep it calm, that's it. Okay, I'm going to call it a day there. So I am. That's the middle of the second one. So I've done one and a half. That's pretty good. If I do another one and a half with you, that's three out of the four um, done. And then. Um, yeah, I just need to do the, the outside cover, which, like I say, I'm looking forward to doing as well. Yeah, pleased with the bits we've got in so far. Like I say, there'll be a second pass that I do on my own. Yeah, that's, that stays on so through a little bit, look, but I still don't dislike it. <laughs> um, yeah, doing little odds and ends. And then I'll, I'll do a flip through. So yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. Hope you've enjoyed um, looking at it. Um, I definitely enjoy it every time I open it up. It's Those flowers just are so beautiful. Why did I not put anything on there? Did I say I'd do that next time round? I can't remember. I think I turned the page and did this and completely forgot about that. So that's what I mean about doing a second pass. You know, and some of these will have labels on where they've got a lot of space and not much going on. But yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to rein myself in a little bit. So, um, not doing it all in one go will help me do that. Okay, thank you so much for um, staying with me. Thumbs up would be lovely. And um, I'll see you on Thursday for uh, the collaboration between Tatty Treasure and Collage Type again. Uh, until then, have a lovely day. See you soon. Bye for now.